So ever since my early childhood, I've had a real passion for art and uh, creating art. Um, real artists to me were children's book illustrators. I remember um, in pro early primary school being taken on an excursion to Drom Keen, which is um, a gallery dedicated to children's book illustrators. And I remember standing there telling myself and thinking to myself, I want to be able to do this. I want to do this one day. So that's where it really began for me and that passion for making art has never gone away. Yeah. My early influences were also my mum and a cousin of mine who were just really talented, really amazing at drawing and they could create a really amazing likeness of what they were trying to depict and I just was always blown away by that and always wanted to achieve that myself. Uh, in fact, it's always been about my personal experiences and my personal findings around, you know, in life around me. And it, that has changed over, over time. In, the, uh, in more recent years, it's been my, ch my children. They feed me with their art. So I've actually been recreating their work in my work. So there's kind of a collaboration going on there. And it's helping me to get in touch with, I guess, my playfulness. There's, and then there has been a sense of playfulness in my art over the years, as well as a more dark, sinister, sinister side. Depending on the concept that I'm trying to portray in my work, I make a decision about the art form that I'm going to use. So I. I, I paint in oils and then I'll, I'll draw, I'll do collage, I also love doing mixed media. So I, 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 in my work I honour my upbringing, my southern Italian heritage, um, as well as my, my children and their art and their performance. And yeah. um, I, I am the type who would paint or, or actually collage every day and draw every day and write notes and research every day. Um, so I'm trying to make more time this year now that all my children are starting school to really um, hone in on that um, and just sh try to show up in my studio. My desire is to show up in the studio every day. I'm very self-disciplined and I make sure I utilise the time I've got uh, without anyone around me um, to actually produce the work because I, I work within a domestic studio so m my whole house is, is the studio. I drag my canvases out into the dining room when no one's around and um, but then pack it all away by the time they, they're all home again. My work has been about experimental portraiture so in the case of my children for example when I've painted them recently with their artwork. Their artwork has provided a persona or a, some type of disguise obscuring their faces and just elements of who they are behind that mask is creeping through. Collage is one of those art forms for me that just opens up a lot of um, interesting different quirky ways of of um, layering different fragments together, different patterns, different body parts. Yeah, so I joined Blue Thumb recently and I heard a lot of really positive things about it. Um, what I've experienced so far is the plethora of support for artists. Um, and I just think it's a really great alternative um, to exhibiting in a gallery space.